Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another video and y'all know I had to participate in the Sephora sale. Now, I had all these big plans about how I was going to come on and do a recommendations video because that's what the beauty influencer people do, right? And then I was going to come on and do a shop with me and, you know, my wish list. As you can see, I didn't do any of that. I, and this this is the first time I think I've shopped the sale in person. I typically have stuff in my cart and the moment I'm, I, the, 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 the moment the sale is open, I just click purchase and I check out, right? So here's everything that I have bought. I bought all of this in store. And then I've got a few other makeup goodies that aren't for the Sephora sale. Some you can get at Sephora that I purchased before the sale, maybe about a month ago that I haven't shared with you. And just a few other makeup and skincare goodies. Now, I will say there's like one or two more things that I want to get and that were not in stock or they don't carry at the Sephora's that are near me. But let's just get into what I bought, y'all. And I didn't do too bad. Now, I will tell you, I am Rouge, okay? I am Rouge, so I I I was in that thing. I already had all the stuff in my app listed out, ready to go. The girl was like, oh, you are not new to this. I said, oh, no, boo, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I am a professional when it comes to this here Sephora sale, okay? Uh, but I only have one face. So let's get the not-so-sexy things out of the way first. So I restocked up on the necessary... Um, deodorant in the fragrance eucalyptus because i enjoy this deodorant and with the amount of dancing and summertime happening uh in texas that's going to be coming up i needed to get another one of those so i'm almost out of the one that i have now i will say this i'm typically not a setting spray kind of woman however in the summer in texas if i'm going to be going out and being outside even with a powder foundation on, even with a skin tint. Well, I don't really wear skin tints, but you know what I'm saying? I need a little something. So I've used this before. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte because I'm oily and I live in Texas and it'd be hot. So I picked up one of these in the travel spray. This usually, usually lasts me about a year, right? So I don't necessarily need the big size. What else did I buy that was less than sexy okay i also picked up a sephora 71 brush because i have the bk beauty um by angie hot and flashy concealer brush I actually have the whole set and i love that concealer brush and so i wanted one for just powder um i should have just ordered another one from bk beauty but i was like let me try the sephora brush it's very similar and shape which is the brush is meant to be shaped like a fingertip now um my bk beauty one is dirty but it's it, it if you see it has this kind of tapered edge to it um and it feels pretty soft so i think i'm gonna i think i'm going to enjoy that uh, but i bought this is the set the 71 brush okay and listen i've been holding these for a couple of days so i was like i need to do this video because I'm ready to use the things. I also picked up another one of the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Universal. Because I think I showed you in my empties <laughs> video that I posted uh, most recently that this this is my blurring balm powder currently. It's on it's I mean this this is pretty much empty. I'm gonna be I mean, I'm going to use all of that. I'm going this probably will last me maybe another month or so to scrape all up in there but i picked up another one because i knew i was going to need it and what else did i get okay i picked up y'all i had i had ran out of liquid eyeliner and i didn't repurchase one for months because the one that i had before was from milani and it was like this 17 hour um all mattes you know, waterproof eyeliner. And I just didn't like the finish of it. And I had known for a long time because I had had a smaller version that I love the KVD tattoo liner, which is what I'm wearing today. And I was like, let me just pick this up during the sale. I probably should have got more than one because I think the one I had before was, you know, the mini size and I picked up the full size. So I can get rid of, listen, I can get rid of the mini size. 
I picked up the full size and I missed my I missed my wing liner. And you know, I was doing the whole like eyeshadow as liner and I like that look on occasion, but I was like because my skin is so deep, the black actually doesn't look that harsh on me and I was like I I need the definition. I like ah, so I'm just <laughs> I'm glad to have it back. And I think it's because I was looking for like a liquid eyeliner. I think I tried the Fenty one. That's going to be coming up in my next recent, my next empties video. I didn't love it. The finish was too shiny. It was weird. But the Milani's finish was too matte. It almost looked chalky. And this is like just right. So pick that up. Okay. I picked up... Um, Okay, this is also not super interesting. I picked up a a dark red lip liner from Sephora brand. Let me tell you, my favorite, most favorite, favorite, favorite brown lip liner of all time is by Sephora brand. And I'm glad that I have two on me because it was out of stock everywhere. That lip liner, it, because some brown lip liners are so dark brown, they almost look black or they're too light and they don't give me any definition or they're too red or too orange or they're too purple right and this brown lip liner from um um sephora let me what's the name of it it is called molasses is the best i'm gonna I'm swatch it for you is the you see it is the best brown lip liner I've ever had. It's soft, it's creamy, it stays put. So I picked up a deep red because um, I sometimes I don't want to use brown with my red lipsticks and I needed a red. So I picked that up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my drawer. So I think I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, I don't know if I told you or not, that Estee Lauder, as old of a brand as it is, is really growing on me. I really enjoy their eyelash primer um i really enjoy their powder foundation i really enjoy classic double wear like if i don't want to think about it and here's the thing i'm not a super full coverage girl i look very full coverage today i'm normally not a super full coverage girl i'm like a medium coverage but i do i use just a little and i was like i, I it's a brand that is intriguing me so i decided to pick up their stay double wear stay in place concealer now i picked it up in 6n and so that is a more like a highlighting shade for me so this is you know very modest packaging or whatever i've used this a couple of times y'all when i tell you this is full coverage i mean oh my i'm gonna do a little swipey swipe here on my hand that's the color i feel like that's the perfect highlighting shade for me oh i don't know if you can see that anyway um, and I have been enjoying layering this because I have a couple of concealers that are too dark for me and mixing this in, but even this on its own, I was like, okay, this, is, but here's the thing. Estee Lauder would not have been around this long and still be popping if their products weren't good. I'm just convinced. So there's that. Now I also picked up, okay, so let me get it. Let me give you the backstory on this product. So there, <laughs> there is this eyeshadow that I had probably almost 10 years ago from Wet n Wild. Okay. I actually still have it. I'm going to show it to you. And there's this color in there that is like my favorite one and done shadow. But because this eyeshadow is 10 years old, I'm not going to use it because it's old. They no longer make it. I have been looking for a dupe for this for a long time. Now, what I'm going to show you is not a dupe because when I got it home, I realized it wasn't a dupe. But I don't know if you remember these little these little um, trios from Wet Wild. My This broke. I did not use that pink. OK, and this one was called I'm getting sunburned. But there is this super dark brown in here that doesn't look black. OK, but is brown but the reflex is not gold the reflex are like bronzy and burgundy but the brown doesn't look purple it doesn't look black it doesn't look gray so when i was at sephora i picked up two different eyeshadow products because i thought that they would remind me of this eyeshadow 
I like them. They are not dupes. I have been on the hunt. I drugstore, high end, luxury. I have not found a product that matches. So I'm gonna swatch the Wet n Wild first, so you can see it. So you can see what I'm talking about. It's still so buttery soft. I mean, I probably could use it. So this is what it looks like on the finger. Okay, as you can see, it is brown. Okay, and you, I don't know if you can see the sparkles. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. So this is the Wet n Wild. Okay, and the reason why I love it so much is because when it comes to one and done eyeshadows, one and done eyeshadows for me. I don't want it to be a lighter color. I want it to be a darker color, but I do not want it to be black, okay? I want a shimmery brown that is darker than my skin, but not too dark that is giving me a smoky eye, right? Because if you look at our, our lighter counterparts, when they do one and done eyeshadow, it's either like their skin tone or whatever color, the peach, the pink, the gold, what, the blue, whatever it is, the taupe, it's slightly darker than their skin tone, right? Well, in order for you to do that on my skin tone, it has to be a dark brown and I don't always want black. Black is just a little harsh for day to day, even on my deep rich skin tone. Okay. So that is the swatch. Let me, let me, I probably should have did a better swatch. Y'all know that swatching is not necessarily my ministry. There we go. So it's, it's neutral. Okay. It's not cool tone. It's not warm. And I'm going to prove to you this neutral. So the, First product that I picked up was from both of these are first from Sephora collection and this color is called number 25 truffle. Now, at first glance, this is this is a brown. At first glance, oh come on and focus. It looks like it would match, right? Or be a dupe. And I didn't have the wet and wild with me at the time. So let me hold them up side by side. But now you can see that the Wet n Wild is actually way more brown than this. Okay, this is a pretty color. It is brown, um, but it's this one is more, oh, it's so soft. This one, I'm going to swatch it. I don't know if you can see the difference. They're not the same. The Wet n Wild is actually slightly warmer. Remember when I said it's neutral and not cool tone? This one is cool tone. I still like it. I'm still definitely going to use this. It's just not a dead on dupe. I'm glad I picked this up in the Sephora sale. Okay. So then when I was there, I was like, I saw a liquid eyeshadow. And I said, let me get this one too, because this one might be, be that. So this is um, Sephora Charged Up Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Connect. Now, this is a deep, deep brown. I was like, oh, this is a pretty color. And I was like, it might be a smidge lighter than the Wet n Wild. So I'm going to swatch this for you as well. Y'all, not even remotely close. This, this is the color. Okay, let me... The camera's trying to focus on my face. Okay, that's the color. Beautiful. That's what I have on the, the top part of my lids today, but it's not the color. Y'all, I have been everywhere swatching all the things and I have not been able to find that color. I haven't been able to find it anyway. Okay. So I digress, but that's, that's what those weren't, that wasn't originally on my list, but I will say this when I did combine these two colors together, it was nice. And here's the thing. I like I like this color. Um, this brown color. I like both of them. Can I point? I like this color as a one and done as well because it's 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 just slightly darker. So it's still a great find. It's just not what I, what I was looking for. Okay. So now I also picked up, speaking of eyeshadow, y'all. I did it. I sure did. I picked up the the mini Pat McGrath palette. <laughs> now, I, let me say this. I originally was not going to pick this up. Okay. I did not pick up the purple one. And I will say I have, oh my goodness. I have one, two, three, four, five motherships, six motherships, two holiday palettes, and three quads from Pat McGrath. And so in my mind, I was like, 
I don't need this. And I was debating on whether or not to get um, Midnight Sun when Pat was having her sale and then briefly on the Sephora app, but they must have changed it because it was $89 and I was going to throw it in my cart and get the extra 20% off and I missed it. And when I bit back, it was full price, right? For the Star Wars one, because I was just going to peel that sticker off and keep the party going. But I went ahead and picked it up because I saw somebody do a review on it and they were talking about where all the shades came from. Right. It's I mean, this is this is me in a nutshell. Right. Well, here's the thing. The palettes that these shades come from, I do not have that palette. So um, or those two, I think it was two palettes. And I was like, oh, well, this is perfect because that's what I was buying those palettes for anyway, was I wanted the neutral tones out of there. And I was like, I'll get this. Now, when I tell you this thing is itty bitty, however. Travel. Okay, so typically when I travel, I take my Viseart Mink Set palette, which is this one, which I feel like is still feel fairly small. I mean, this is the size of my hand and this is the size of the palette, but this is the size of this. I mean, so again, six shades. I mean, obviously this has 12 shades, but I use like the same three or four shades in there anyway when I'm traveling. And so I was like, Pat McGrath, you know, it's sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. And so I play with it a little bit. Um, let me swatch some of the colors for you. Because these colors, you know, very similar to Pat McGrath style. Show, the, the browns show up darker. Now, I will say this is a more of a cool tone brown. And these are more neutral, which I like. So I'm going to just, I'm going to swatch the mattes. Because those are the most surprising to me. So There's that matte. And it's funny because it looks washed out on camera, but it actually makes for a great transition shade for me. And then um, this is this matte. I mean, look at look at the pigmentation, y'all. Look at this. OK, and then. Look at that. I mean, you can almost use that as eyeliner. So, I mean, the pigmentation is there. And if you want to go more gold, you can. If you need a brow bone highlight, if you need a lid color, it's all right there. I mean, I actually think this was a better move than her um, than her purple one. Okay, so loving, loving this. I mean, that's not all the shades, but you you get the you get the gist of it because the rest is just like a more cool tone gold and a warmer tone gold, and then like a champagne beige. Right now, last two things I picked up from Sephora. One was on my list, and one was not. So the thing that was on my actual list, I mean, the thing that wasn't on my list was I currently use as many people do, the Laura Mercier under eye setting powder. And it's fine. I enjoy it, okay? And I also have Pat McGrath's under eye setting powder, which I don't love, surprisingly. Um, this says, this is supposed to be deep. This looks, look how light that is, okay? The Laura Mercier is darker than this. Now, I have the Laura Mercier um, under eye setting powder. I have it in the loose, in this giant container, which is deeper than the Pat McGrath, right? I have it in the in the loose. And then I also have it in the pressed for travel, okay? So I use this one exclusively for travel. This one looks a little bit more like the Pat McGrath, okay? I don't know why it's so light. And I was like, you know what? I, it's fine. It works. I, you know, I have no complaints. But I was like, I would like something a little deeper that's still going to highlight you know, when I set my under eye or the eye, the places on my face that I want highlighted, right? And I love my Kosas Cloud Set all over the face setting powder. But I was like, am I really going to buy a whole other setting powder in that size to try under my eye? So lo and behold, I'm getting ready to check out and I see this. It's a mini Kosas Cloud Set powder in the exact shade that I was thinking about, which is silky sheer tan deep okay now here's my regular kosas cloud set okay here's the size of that here is the shade that i use to set my face i mean it's like perfect do you see like perfectly neutral i love this part it's domed and as you can see i've like flattened out like you can see i've started to flatten out the dome okay so this is the regular size 
in my skin tone match. I saw this little nugget of a, of a thing and I said, add to cart. Okay. So this is the mini. So this is, these are the size difference, right? Y'all. And the shade for under eye, like, let me pull back out the Estee Larder concealer. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's compare this to the Estee Larder concealer. Look at the shade match. I said, <laughs> add it to cart. Put it in there. Y'all, I've already been using this. I have it on today under my eye. I feel like it's just a better color to set under my eyes. It's darker than the Laura Mercier. Definitely darker than the Pat McGrath, right? Perfectly matches this concealer. And I was like, oh, y'all. And great for travel. It's not loose right and the Pat McGrath one is super soft I mean if you if you sneeze wrong it'd be it'd be it just be everywhere right and so I was like girl I already know at some point in the future I would probably buy this in the full size but here's the thing for, because I'm only using it for setting under I I feel like this is the perfect size right I don't have to commit to this to get this and it's the perfect shade. The undertone is right. It's not too warm, not too cool, not too orange, not too yellow. It matches perfectly with my Estee Lauder. I love it so much. Okay. Now, the product that started the whole haul. Okay. I originally was going to get multiple shades of this product. And I said, Evelyn, don't do it. Don't do it. I already did it. No, I didn't do it. I got one shade because I was like, you just bought all the Danessa Myricks blurring blush bombs. And I do not regret it. I told myself, I said, when it comes to powder blush, which is my favorite, I was like, you're good. You've got several blush palettes and a couple of the colors. I was like, mm. and I realized I am not a deep dark blush wear so typically when a brand comes out with multiple shades they have shades that are clearly like for lighter skin tones and then they have these deep rich berries for deeper skin tones and I'm just like I, I like a lighter blush but if your blush has too much white in the base I can't wear it right which is why I love the Danessa Blurring Balm Powders because I can get a light colored blush without too much white in the base however I wanted to get these when these when they these first launched and I didn't. I say just just hold your horses, okay? And wait for the Sephora sale. And so I picked up a house lapse blush from Lady Gaga. Let me tell you, I got the color Watermelon Bliss. I went through my collection. I do not have anything remotely close to this color. I went through, I swatched my palettes, my singles. I do not have anything remotely close to this. First of all, can we get into this packaging? Like, I'm trying to do it this way so that it doesn't like blind you. But this chrome mirrored. Oh, now let me show you this compared to the highlighter I have from House Labs. Y'all, I know all the extra noise, right? Like most vloggers, beauty content creators, they're better at this than I am so far. OK, this is the highlight packaging. OK, so this is kind of like this iridescent. This is straight chrome same size okay same package just different whatever gorgeous now this blush color i said yes this was the gap that was in my collection and that's why it's the only one that i needed because the other shade the other deeper shade which was like a berry shade i have several berry shades and i rarely wear them i realize i like a lot of blush but this this is watermelon bliss get into this shade it's like red but pink okay little coral without being too orange I can't describe this because I I for sure thought that I had a color like this in my collection so I went through and I swiped I was just a swatching and swatching and swatching and I do not have I have already worn this and it is stunning oh it looks so good like should I put a little bit on 
I just want you to see. When I tell you you do not need a lot, let me just, okay. Surprisingly, I have a clean brush here. This is a Sephora 59 brush. It's probably like, do you? Girl, that's too, that's enough for both sides. Let me just, okay, that's, ooh, okay. But do you see how pretty this is? Like, boom, put the little extra on there. You, I'm going to have this until my grandchildren have grandchildren. <laughs> Look at the color. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I and I only needed one. Okay, I only needed one. Now, that's all that I picked up at Sephora during the sale. I also picked up a couple of weeks ago when I wasn't even thinking. Uh, actually, did I pick this up? I think I picked this up at the beginning of March and I just haven't shared it. I wanted to try the NARS concealer in the pot. And so I have this in shade Dark 2 Cacao. I have been really enjoying this as a concealer. Now, this is a concealer that's a little bit closer to my skin. You can tell I've really been using it. This is a concealer that's really uh, closer to my skin tone. And I was nervous because I was like, okay, you know, I'm in my 40s. And I was like, is this going to sit too heavy on the under, under eye? But surprisingly, it doesn't. I What I have on today is this with the Estee Lauder on top. And you're probably like, that's a lot of coverage. It is. Um... But it works and it just, it sits right. It doesn't make me look creasy or anything like that. I don't know. I mean, I also keep my under eyes very well moisturized, but I have been enjoying this. I wish I, I wish they had a shade that was a smidge lighter, but the shade that's above this is way too light, but I am enjoying this. I mean, this is lighter than my skin tone, but probably about like a half a step, one, uh, you know, or one step, not two steps. I've been enjoying this. You can also get that at Sephora during the sale. Okay. And then I um, also, which I should have waited, but I couldn't, y'all. I picked up from Pat McGrath herself. And I was so mad because then I picked up this and, and three other products because right after this, she had a sale. But I picked up the Pat McGrath bronzer. I got the deepest shade, which was in um, bronze mahogany. I'm going to show you this. So this is the shade. Okay. It's not deep enough. Um, I find it, and maybe I need a different brush because mine feels, I don't know. I, I think I need a natural hair brush to pick it up. It is darker than I am, but barely. So my, let me show you what my regular everyday bronzer looks like. So you can get a feel when I say that that's not dark enough. So the LYS bronzer, uh, the Matte No Limits bronzer is this color. This is Pat McGrath. Okay. <laughs> My camera cut off. Um, okay, so we're talking about the Pat McGrath bronzer. So... It's not deep enough. And I don't know if mine is hard pan. I don't know if I need a natural hair brush, but um, it's not deep enough. And I want to show you, I want to show you my LYS bronzer, okay, which is the bronzer I've been using for some time. This, I mean, I've hit hard, I've hit pan on it. Look at the difference between that and my skin tone. Now compare this to the Pat McGrath. And you can see that the LYS is like two or three shades deeper, right? But okay, you know, this is this is like, you gonna see this, right? My Make Beauty, which is not, my Make Beauty bronzer, which is not as deep as the LYS, is this. Also darker than my skin tone, just enough. But compared to Pat, this is about a shade or two. This is about a shade or two deeper, if you can tell. Um, I even have a drugstore bronzer. I don't use it much, but I have it. This is by Beauty Bakery. This is the Snackaroon bronzer in the color Perfect Blend. Darker. This is Pat McGrath. And I think I am just surprised that with eight shades 
Um, and being from Pat McGrath, that it's not deep enough. Um, so I pull back out my color because it looks like a setting powder for me for my face, right? Like I look, I, I feel like I can dust this all over my face and and it not affect. So here is my Kosas Cloud set again, right? This is what I set my face with. So I have it. Um, I'm not going to return it. I'm disappointed, obviously. I, I just, I, and when I saw it, like when I saw the swatches, I was like, mm, I don't think this is going to be dark enough. And let me tell you, this is the second black owned brand that didn't, that their deepest shade wasn't deep enough for me. So when I bought, um, my bronzer from Morena Butte, this was their deepest shade. I, I know to go for the deepest shade and so I remember looking at online and was like oh yeah yeah, yeah that's gonna be it look how, look how red and light this is this is their deepest shade this is a black owned brand so um blush <laughs> setting powder um I, yeah I'm, I'm just I'm surprised and disappointed anyway I bought that before the sale and with that order, and I knew I should have waited because she had a sale right after that where I could have got these things for a much better deal. But I also picked up her Dark Star Mascara, which I've been wanting to try because y'all, y'all know I'm not a lash girl. I'm definitely a, I, I, I wow, <laughs> I'm a mascara, uh, eyelash primer person plus a really good mascara, right? I just kind of like that look better on me. My eyelashes are very curly. It's hard for me to put on fake eyelashes. Who gonna sweat that out? So I wanted to try her mascara um, and just the packaging. I mean, who doesn't want to pull this out every day? Now, let me see. I was so sad, which I heard these are comparable. So I had um, a deluxe sample of a mascara that I've been using. So I use the Estee Lauder um, Eyelash, eyelash primer and then I had this deluxe sample but I had some other mascaras that I was getting to before I got to it so I was like oh let me try it and I fell in love with it right only to find out they're out of business and that is by beauty I don't even have it really built up today but when I tell you when I have it on like and I, and I don't even have to like do a whole lot of coats like I just barely did a little something today gives me lashes and they're out of business so hopefully hopefully this Pat McGrath mascara I heard that these were similar um I was like dang Evelyn you late to the party you know what I'm saying you late to the party um with the bite beauty anyway let's keep going I also picked up two lip glosses from Pat McGrath so I am a huge fan of Pat McGrath's Flesh 3 Lip Divinyl. It kind of like sparked this love affair for me for like these sheer terracotta-y colors. This is NARS that I have on, by the way. I have a mix of like NARS and Tom Ford on right now. And so I have her Flesh 3 in her Lip Divinyl and her Flesh 7. And I love the colors. So I was like, okay, this Flesh line seems to be hidden. So I picked up Flesh 4 and flesh six in her lip glosses so i'm gonna swatch these for you i probably should have swatched the bronzer but you wouldn't have been able to see it <laughs> the shade okay um let's do flesh four first which is the deeper kind of rosy brown and i think that's the thing it's like these rosy like like look at that shade can you see that like that's the perfect like deeper nude for me oh it's just oh it, it's so pretty and I love the formula on Pat McGuss lip glosses they have this nice like vanilla scent and so then this is flesh six this is more like a peachy kind of deeper nude I probably should have looked at the descriptions but like you can't tell me that's not the perfect nudes for me like oh they're so pretty so I picked both of those up just because I, I love them. But I, anything in kind of like a rosy brown family that's deep like this is the perfect nude for me. So I picked those up. Now, 
the last couple of things I picked up are not from Sephora or you can't get from Sephora, but they fall into the makeup category. So as you know, we are heading into the summer months. I live in Texas. I have oily skin and I dance. Um, I don't always dance in makeup. I should actually try not to dance in makeup. But in the summertime, I prefer a powder foundation because who is going to be dripping liquid foundation off of their face when it's 111 degrees outside? Not I, said Evelyn. Okay, so I love my Estee Lauder double wear um powder foundation I, you can see i have put a dent in it sometimes i use it as a light setting powder but i will wear this on its own and it looks like i have on full-on foundation now my og love of powder foundation was mac studio fix right now don't judge me y'all as we as we grow in our makeup journey we start to learn things like undertone and shade ranges have improved and all the cast so all those kinds of things so my original mac powder foundation clearly this is too light i had nw55 clearly this is too light <laughs> i wore this for years um and when i look back in photos and videos i'm like eh, who now several years ago i realized that mac had an nw58 I was at the cosmetic company outlet store. Don't judge me. I'm going to tell you why I went. I went for one thing and I left with three things. And lo and behold, they had an NW58 in the Studio Fix foundation powder. And boom. Let's look at the difference because it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty big. <laughs> this is like for under eye concealer. This is closer to my skin tone, okay? So, um, it I don't know why it looks so light on camera, but I have swatched it. It actually is a little bit deeper than I am, which is great for the summertime. So, I picked that up, NW58. I have been trying to hunt down the MAC bronzers everywhere. And every time I go, the color I want is out of stock, so I'm going to have to order it online. Okay, so the last two things I picked up. I went into the store to get reinventing the heel so i i hauled this a while ago in a previous cosmetic company alistair haul i don't think i put it in my empties yet because i i mean i just did did my empties video like a couple of weeks ago and um i hadn't emptied it yet but now i have emptied it so i went back to repurchase another one because like i said with the dancing on the bare feet let me tell you who not gonna have crusty feet not i said evelyn so i picked up another one of these i was like evelyn only get this I also got this, but then y'all, I got a deal. I told you, Origins is a brand that I'm really just like, ooh, I think it ticks on my boxes. It's a little luxe, it's plant-based, it's clean, it's got some variety. So they had this, I think this might be leftover from the holidays. This is their Spices Nice Ginger Body Wash Scrub and Cream. I think I told y'all that I love this body souffle, right? y'all so it says 45 dollars here which would be an amazing deal because the full size of this is pretty expensive this was 30 percent off let me show you what's inside this box i almost bought more than one because i was like girl this is bomb but i was like you already have so much shower gel and body wash let me show you what so inside of here you have got the savory body wash which i've used this before and enjoyed you have also got the ginger body scrub which i have not tried but i love a scent matching you know like how we like our undergarments to match i love a scent to match i love a body scrub buddy butter body lotion shower gel situation you've got this then you've got the full size tub i've been showing y'all the little mini trios of the ginger souffle which i adore and this is great it, this layer so if you have something that's really really sweet like i layer this with like my burberry herb because it has that marshmallow note in it and so this something about this ginger with that marshmallow note is hidden now i have no idea what this is okay it feels like one of those balls that you rub your feet on i don't know what it is it doesn't say what it is on the packaging or does it let me see what it says so 
what's that? What's 30% off of $45? So, well, 10% is $4. So, 20% is, or $4.50. So, 20% is not, so like $13 some dollars off. Y'all, I got this for like $30. Okay. So, it just says, this holiday box and sleeve are recyclable. This box is, okay, da, 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 da. Okay, but it doesn't tell me what the ball is. It tells me about the gender suit. Oh, cork massage ball. I was right. Y'all, and I be needing this for my feet after dance class for $30. I don't even think you can get this for $30. Or I think this is $30. So, I, I couldn't resist. Anyway, that's my super duper 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 long haul. <laughs> I got this and this and this. But the, I should have got, and they had other sets. I should have got the whole, anyway, they, they would have made great gifts. $30, please. Anyway, um, <laughs> there are a few things I do still want to get to the Sephora sale. I, I want to get my Pat McGrath concealer because this, even though I got the Estee Lauder and I love it and I got the NARS, I know. But my tried and true is the Pam McGrath concealer and the shade that I wear is always sold out on her website. And so it's available on Sephora. So it's in my cart right now. I'm probably just going to go ahead and get that. And I think I'm going to be done. I'm not going to go overboard this time. You know, or are there some things that I'm curious about? Yes, but I'm I'm spending my money on other things right now, like home decor. OK, which I hope to be sharing with you very, very soon. Anyway, I hope you are well. I hope you enjoy this haul. Everything that I um, use will be linked in the bottom of this video. Listen, uh, shout out to being Rouge. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Peace.